Hello, you are most welcome. We are in Henry the Computer Guy, and in this video, we are going to be looking at how we can apply the data footer and the watermark onto the different pages of our document. Uh, but before we do this practically, we first of all have to understand what these three terms mean, and we are going to begin with a header. A header is actually a separate bit of uh, text at the top of a printed page. Uh, which is actually the opposite of a footer which uh, appears at the bottom of a printed page. Then a watermark is actually a faded image or text that appears on the background of a, a page of the entire document. And having understood uh, these three terms, we can do it practically. But what you have to note is that whenever you apply the header, the footer or the watermark, it will have to go to all the pages of your document. But there might always be a need for you to customize them and leave them onto the separate pages that you feel you want. So let's dive into the real practice and we'll see how we can do this. So let's open our document. Uh, this is here and we are going to be using a run function which can help us to give us some dummy text we can work with. So I'm going to type equals RAND, open the bracket, I put two comma three, which is going to be giving us uh, two paragraphs with three lines of text. Then I can press enter to get that dummy text. So now let's first of all uh, insert what we call a header and a footer into our document. And whenever you want to insert a header, you're going to come to the tab that says insert and come to the section that says uh, header and footer. Then pick the one for the header. And having selected the one for the header, you can as well be able to choose from a variety of the headers. But I'm going to be choosing the first one. So it is that one. Then I can click on it and say, I'm going to be putting Henry. Then I can as well scroll down and put my footer down here. Let's say it is 001 as my next number. I can come and close the header and the footer. So we now have what we call the header, the footer, and some dummy text. Let's also look at how we can insert our watermark. So we come to the page layout, and having clicked there, we can come to the option that says watermark. But we need a customized watermark, then we shall come and click on customize watermark. Then we can have two types of uh, watermarks we can include, for example, we can use a picture, then select it from our computer. But for our case, we are going to be using the text watermark. And we come and type exactly what we want in there. Let's say I want to type Henry the computer. Henry the computer guy. So that is what we have. I can make it a red in color. Then I can come and make it non-semi-transparent. Then I can say, okay. And that is what we have for now. We have the header, we have the watermark, and below we have our footer. But remember, we say that whenever you apply the header, the footer, and the watermark, it will be applied to all the pages that you're going to be having for your document. But you can always be able to customize them whenever you feel the need. So first of all, let's insert a blank page, and we'll see how it looks like. So we come to insert and come to blank and click on it. It will insert another blank page, but actually having the same header, the same watermark, and the same footer as you're seeing. So now, whenever you want to specifically uh, customize these headers and footers onto the different sections or pages that you have, you'll have to break the sections into your document. And having known that, let's assume that we have our Two paragraphs here this is paragraph one and this is paragraph two and i want to send paragraph two to the next page of course i'm going to come and click in between my two paragraphs then i'll come to the section or the tab that says page layout then i'll come and click on the break then i'll come and say section break which is going to be the next page and now when i do that this information is going to be pushed to the second page have paragraph one on the first page, have paragraph two on the second page, and we also have a, a third page here. So that means that we have three pages and they are all having the same headers 
and the footers are the same to one another. So we want to see how we can customize this into the different sections that we want. They say on page one, we don't put a watermark here, we put it on page two, we remove it on page three, like that. It depends on exactly what you feel you want. So if you want to do that, you're going to identify any location into your document. Let's say I go to page two. It's the one I want to customize. I will come to my page two, then I'll click into either the header section or the footer section of that page. Let me double click at the top here to be in the header section. And when I click there, you're going to see up here that we have uh, something that says that link to previous page. That means that our page two is being linked to the page one that we had in the beginning. And everything you modify on page two is going to be modified on page one. So that is what the link will do. And if we remove the link, then that means that all our pages are going to be independent from each other. So let me click on it. And having clicked on this, it is going to remove the link such that page one and page two are now independent. So when you come and scroll down to page three, you shall look at what we have there. Let me say we click on page three. When I click here on page three, uh, it is also not having a link to our previous page. That means that we have to make a br another break. So I'll come to page two again. When I come to page two, I'll come and click here below my work. I'll also come and say page layout, and I'll also be able to break to break to the next page. And whenever I break to the next page, that means that uh, I'll come into the header section or footer section, and it shows me also that this page is also linked to this page. So I'll also remove that link to that previous page. That means that even page and even this page is also independent from the pre previous page. So we can now start making our modifications. So when I come to page one, I can come and leave it as Henry. Then I come to, uh, let's say, the watermark. I will come and click where the watermark is. I can remove it by deleting it. Remember, we made these pages independent from each other. And when I delete it from page one, it has to remain on page two. You see, we don't have it on page one, but it has remained on page two. I can as well be able to change the header for even the, the, the second page. Let's say I can put Henry the computer. Henry the computer guy. So in the first page, we are having only Henry, but on the second page, we can have Henry the computer guy. You can even go down and say, let's say on page three, you're not going to put the the head up. You can just come and grab it because all these are now independent pages from each other. You see, we have Henry the computer guy here. We have nothing here. So I can as well come and say, I also don't want this onto this other page. This is page four, page, sorry, page three. I can decide to also delete the, uh, the watermark by deleting it. So when I come onto my other pages, they're now having different information. Page one is not having the watermark. Uh, page two is having the watermark. Page three is not having the watermark. Page four is not having the watermark. So that is how you can uh, decide to make different headers, different footers, and removing watermarks onto the different pages that you're having. So hi, remain Henry the computer guy. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.